Today you can call me crazy, but I am going to track down a killer bus. That's right, I'm kind of crazy for attempting this, but uh, it's the only way to uh, project how these buses actually drive. It's, you can talk about it all day long, but actually, unless you're on the road seeing it, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to believe that they get away with this. But in any case, I'm doing a voiceover because I, I tried recording while I was driving, but there was just too much wind and it uh, made too much noise on my microphone. So anyway, this is a killer bus I'm following. It's a mega bus, a pink mega bus. Um, but I call them all killer buses um, because that's what they do. They have been known to kill people. They'll run people over alongside the road. Uh, they'll crash into killer vans and other vehicles. And But nothing slows them down. Um, there seems to be maybe no repercussions unless a death is involved. But there are, these drivers are on such timelines that it doesn't matter. they got to get to where they're going. In this case, he's going to drive like a bat out of hell just to get to the ferry boat up in Allen in northern Samar, and they'll sit there for two hours waiting for the bus for the uh, to load the ferry and for the ferry to take off. So it's just absolutely crazy. Um, but that's where he's headed. He's headed to Allen in northern Samar, where the ferry boat will pick up all these buses and take them across the Straits of San Bernardino to the island of Luzon and, and Bicol and from there they'll drive make the rest of the trip to Manila. Here I got a chance to catch up to him because he slowed down for thinking he was going to pick up some passengers but there was nobody there. But this is as close as I'll probably get to this guy because he keeps here we are in a, a fiesta village see the flags alongside the road there are people on the roadway because it's fiesta time and there's a lot of people around and these buses don't care they just keep on trucking now he's he's averaging between 70 and 75 kilometers per hour in many of these villages where the speed limit sometimes is posted at 30 kilometers per hour um, at one point I think right about now I think uh, I'm doing almost 75 kilometers and he's pulling away from me so he's doing probably close to 80 kilometers per hour and He's going to head north, and I'm going to quit chasing him after a while here because this is pretty crazy for me driving almost with one hand and a camera going this fast. But uh, he'll probably uh, beat me to where I'm going anyway. I'm going to Malahog Beach just to see what's going on there, and um, I'll let him go from there. But, but you can see how fast these buses are. Gross tonnage has the right of way. People see them coming, they just get out of their way. I'd rather have them in front of me than in behind me. Behind me I don't feel good. As long as I can see them, then I feel much safer. Just I think uh, last month, just to the north of here, there was a, uh, a lady and her child walking along the side of the road that got hit by a a, one of the bus lines, not this one, but um, one of the other bus lines. There's there's a dozen of them that come through here, and I believe it killed uh, killed one of the two people, the, either the child or the woman. Oh look, that's nice. Well, we're getting close to Malahog Beach, which is my destination anyway. So I'm going to just let him uh, take off and hopefully he makes it to Allen in northern Samar safely for the people's sake. Have a nice day.